Here's Chateau Saint-Michel. And this is the Chardonnay 2014. This is their straight Columbia Valley bottling, which is always, always a super buy. Um, really hard to beat for the price. Saint Michel, of course, has lots of vineyards in the Columbia Valley, in Washington State, and Chardonnay really seems to do very, very well there. Takes on a lot of nice flavors. Um, you know, it's a warm, growing region, so the grapes get a lot of nice sunshine. They ripen up well. Um, it's very dry. So the grapevines have to struggle a little bit, keeps the yields lower, keeps the uh, grapes a little more concentrated. Um, you know, in Washington, unlike in California, they never had a problem with phylloxera. So the vines are all planted on uh, their own roots, all vinifera roots, which is very unusual uh, here in the U.S. Um, and what you know, they feel that that makes a difference is where they feel it makes a difference is with the longevity of the vines, the health of the vines overall. Um, so you have some vines that are that are nice and mature, and what that does is again it gives you lower yields, more intensely flavored fruit. So they ferment about one third of this in stainless steel. So a, kind of a standard temperature controls. Uh, fermentation to maintain bright fruit flavors and then the other two-thirds they barrel ferment and they use a combination of French and American oak and the wine ages on the leaves and gets stirred and gives it that um, rich mouth feel and those com complex flavors from the leaves and from the oak. Blend it all back together and here's what you get. <laughs> nice nose. I get pears, I get a little bit of pineapple, I get some nice butterscotch on there too. Mm, it's pretty. Some golden apple. Golden delicious. So, lively fruit on this. I get more of that, um, sort of there's some tangy notes, a um, little bit of a, that pineapple coming through on the palate. Some of those apple-y notes. Um, it's got a nice sort of weighted richness on the middle palate. And, um, and good balance overall. Good acidity. Tasty wine. Um, you know, the acidity keeps it lively, it makes it a good match for seafood, but it's rich enough to go with uh, poultry. Anyway, good value, good wine, happy drinking.